So Lila, thanks for having us here at the Wikimedia Foundation in uh, San Francisco. Thank you for coming. I think uh, we're, uh, this is now the tenth interview we're doing over here in San Francisco. And I think the, the Wikimedia Foundation is, is, when you look at the collaborative economy, is one of the most impressive uh, examples from my perspective, mm -hmm. because you are, uh, have a reach of, of 431 million people uh, uh, every month uh, with only 236 employees. So what's your secret? Well, um, secret. I don't think there's a, actually very few secrets <laughs> at, uh, at Wikimedia. Um, and at Wikipedia itself. Um, I think there's a lot to, to be understood, but nothing is actually really secret. It's a, it's a true collaboration pro, uh, project. I don't think of it as a collaborative economy because it, it actually uh, a precursor to that. In a similar way as you know, open source, I see open source projects and open source collaboration as precursor to a lot of the social movement and social collaboration. Um, but I think it's an incredibly important project for the world. Uh, and the way it's, uh, it's actually done is by a very deep collaboration in different languages. There's nearly 300 languages uh, on, on Wikipedia, on global Wikipedias, and, uh, and it's all uh, produced by individuals around the world. So what you do, you uh, so you facilitate and you create an environment where people can, can collaborate. That's right. Uh, so of course there's a technology aspect of it. And I think a lot of the acceleration and sharing and, uh, and changes, even economic changes that we're seeing, um, are very much driven by the technical uh, abilities that we are gaining uh, year, uh, year after year. Um, so there's a big technology component, uh, but by far the most important, the single most important component is the human factor, um, is, is our, um, our, communi our, our communities all around the world that come together in search and uh, in, uh, um, in, pa in passion of, uh, of contributing to, to this central knowledge system of the internet and, uh, and the world at this point, the largest uh, single knowledge system around the world. And so you got to really uh, passionate uh, people who, uh, who are joining uh, and, and, and collaborate. How do you make the balance of what uh, uh, the, the, the organization decides and what the, the crowd decides? Uh, mm -hmm. it's, I think it's a really interesting balance. What are your experiences with, uh, with that? So uh, for the most part, so here's, here's the kind of top level outline of how it works. Um, the uh, people are responsible, the users, um, the community members are responsible for all content on our, uh, on our properties. Um, we do not engage with that except for when there's a legal problem. Uh, that's the only time. And you can, you can read uh, on our uh, yearly report you know, when, when, we, when we do engage. It's actually very, very, uh, the numbers are very low given the size of uh, size of our um, you know the network mm -hmm. um, uh, so community completely has has full control over uh, managing produce production and management of the content itself uh, the foundation um, produces if effectively produces the services that surround it uh, software uh, hosting um, of course raising funds creating programs and grants for community members uh, and sister brother organizations and uh, all kinds of legal uh, support. Because a lot of times so volunteers in different areas around the world um, where freedom of speech isn't protected um, as, as much as it is in, in the United States, uh, we actually are there to support them. This is very interesting. And, and, and um, uh, about the quality of the content, at, mm -hmm. uh, that's also the crowd is involved with that, but at, at, at what way do you make sure that the quality of the content is, is at the right level? So we actually support the community to make sure that the content is at a high quality level. Things like we, we do, we run programs, we help, uh, we help with that. We, we help with uh, building tools to ensure that the quality of content is high. So for example, community members also produce some of the software as well because we're open source and that, that's our roots, that's, that's our model. Um, uh, and um, we support that piece as part of that. So uh, on Wikipedia they're called bots, uh, uh, but what it is is basically pieces of software that scan contributions to make sure that there's no vandalism or um, just you know random noise that gets uh, gets into Wikipedia because Wikipedia is is edited by everyone. Um, it's it's important that we we watch and monitor for those kinds of things. How do you also uh, register uh, uh, your own lessons because uh, you're developing quite some 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 products? Uh, how do you also uh, uh, 
what is the internal process of uh, registering your own lessons that you can use uh, for new projects? What do you mean? Uh, like like uh, the lessons uh, you learn uh, from Wikipedia mm -hmm. and when you're going to start new products. At what way do you do you manage to to uh, use these lessons to, for the for learn, the future? To learn. So we um, we do we run experiments effectively, um, and we learn quite a few things. Uh, so Wikipedia is very unique in the world. It's uh, you know there are many um, what do you call social networks, and oftentimes Wikipedians will say Wikipedia is not a social network. I completely agree with them. It's not a social network. It's a knowledge network, and uh, um, I think it's really important to keep it in mind because what our communities produce is this highly distilled version of information. Uh, it's very pure, it's, it's devoid or as much as possible compared to everything else devoid of bias and opinion. Um, and that requires a certain type of collaboration. So we, uh, oftentimes we try to run experiments for, to make ease of contribution better. But at the same time, we need to be extremely mindful um, on how the um, how good that information, how, how, how high quality that information is going to be. Because quality is such an important aspect of what makes it on the wikipedia.org um, domain. So that, that's probably one of the biggest lessons uh, that's very unique to us. If we were somebody else, you know, if we want, were a different system, it wouldn't be as, as, as applicable. I think uh, Wikimedia sounds like a really a great success story, but I think you also have your daily challenges. Mm -hmm. What what keeps you busy uh, at this moment? Me <laughs> um, you know, I think I think the world today is there. Is there there are a lot of similarities to when Wikipedia was first started um, in the way that that the world is today, and the things that trouble me are some of the trends around the world. Um, political as well as economic trends. And as the uh, half of the world is still not online and is coming online, and that half of the world is very different from you know, the northern uh, North America and, and Europe, I think we really need to be understanding of what, what do we need to deliver to the people who are just coming online right now, to the learners of tomorrow, um, in terms of information. How can we make it um, how can we enable them to learn and them to contribute and participate in, in creation of the, of the largest knowledge well in the world? Um, because their experiences and their lives are very, very different. So uh, what keeps me up at night is how do we engage them? How do we, how do we give them a voice? Um, and what do we need to do to enable that? Interesting. And, and, and are there also some projects you, you, are, you are running now that will help this? Uh, there are some ideas we're running. Not awake at night. <laughs> there, there are a lot of ideas that we are uh, we're working through. Um, there are no uh, specific product that I can talk to uh, right now, but there are definitely a lot of thinking that we're doing in that direction. Uh, and what really fascinates me, uh, me about the Wikimedia Foundation is, is, is that people are collaborating uh, on, based on, on different kind of value. Uh, because now we're uh, in, in, in society, we're really uh, keen on monetizing uh, the things we are doing. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think the, the way people are working together uh, uh, with the Wikimedia Foundation are really based on different kind of value, uh, and not the, the, uh, the value in money. So what drives people to, to, to collaborate at, at uh, Wikimedia? Hmm. You know, I, you can't say for, I, I can't speak for every one of our volunteers uh, and every one of our community members. I think for each person, it's very uh, personal and very unique. Uh, but I think what unites everyone is the passion for, for knowledge, for openness, for doing something that's bigger than the sum of its parts. Um, I think that's, that's the very, uh, very unique, ambitious, and inspiring thing about uh, about this project, but also about every individual who participates in it. Um, and I think it's really important for every human being to have that as part of their lives. You know, some people um, think of it as creativity, other people think of it as uh, philanthropism. Um, this is something that I think is fundamental to being a human, is doing something for others. Um, and as a result, um, getting something for yourself as a as an emotional uh, reward, um, and Wikipedia is one of the best places um, on earth to do it on. Because there are also quite some people who are co uh, contributors uh, uh, anonymous, so so, right. so 
That's right. Yeah, it's really interesting. Well, anonymous contributions are, are uh, there, there are multiple reasons for that, right? There are plenty of places around the world where um, you don't want to have an identity, and anonymous contributions is the safest, currently the safest way um, to, to do that or perceived to be the least uh, least impactful one. Uh, but also a lot of people, again, right, just like a lot of philanthropists don't want to say, you know, uh, who they are, you know, a lot of contributors don't want to. They, they, they're not there for glory. They're there for their own um, satisfaction. And when you're making new products, um, how do you, uh, what do you measure? And, and, and when is something mm -hmm. successful? Oh, that's a great question. Um, actually, what you measure is really uh, is really critical in product, and uh, um, we're building out this discipline of analytics and uh, and understanding what success looks like to a user. So we measure m many many things. We measure obviously how many visitors we have, how long does it stay on the site, how many clicks do they make, but we also measure how fast uh, certain action can take or. Um, you know, for editors, it's really important how quickly can they get to complete the edit, things like that. So we, we measure a lot of things. At the very high level, what we would like to measure more effectively is content quality um, and community happiness, for example, and activity. So those are the kind of things that if you, if you looked at, at the very bird's eye view on, on Wikipedia, those are the kind of things that, uh, that you would start with. And, analysis. And, and, and when you look at the collaborative economy, you just mentioned uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you don't think the uh, mediation is part of it, but I think it's really it's got some really valuable lessons for for the collaborative economy. Um, by uh, the, the the collaborative economy is is is, is a lot in the media uh, these days, so it's really growing. Does it also have some benefits for you, or maybe not? You know, uh, I don't think of us as economy, right? Because we're not uh, we're not an economic project, right? We're not about that. We're about knowledge. We're a collaborative knowledge project, not a collaborative economy project. We're not transactional. We're not trying to make money off of this. Um, I think the lessons that we're, I think it's fascinating to see a collaborative co economy emerge. I think it's absolutely inevitable as the population of the earth grows and people actually will need to share and this enables them to share better. Um, but I think we're seeing also some uh, some challenges that 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 you run that people are running into in terms of uh, at the end of the day, you know the this uh, what Wikipedia does it it really gives the power to the individual user um, and they give them control. Collaborative economy works. Uh, there are all kinds of gradations of that, right? There are gradations where the power is really in the, uh, in, the, in the hands of the end user, but then there are others where the end user is just, you know, it's just like employing somebody else, yeah. right? So I think we need to, it's, we can't just say one thing about all of them, blanket statement. Uh, what I think Wikipedia can learn uh, from observing this uh, is, Motivations, right? How uh, how this how other systems work and what motivates people. Um, you know, our system works is very unique and works in a in, in a very uh, a very specific way. Um, and if there is one thing that that you learned from all of these projects is you cannot predict how the system will turn out. Um, and the learning experience is looking at other systems and how they are uh, progressing and turning out and taking lessons from those. And, and what, what, can they, what can they learn from you? What so, can they learn from Wikipedia? Yeah. I think they already did, all right? Uh, Wikipedia was one of the first projects of its kind. Uh, and a lot, I think lots and lots of systems learned from it, and lots and lots of projects learned from it. I mean, there's, there's, there's clones almost that are very close to Wikipedia in terms of how they operate, and then there are others that are much you know, three, three degrees removed. So I think the world has learned from, from this model quite a bit, and altered it, and, and, and uh, you know, modified it. Uh, but I think the idea that something can be built entirely through the hands of you know hundreds of thousands of people um, is is the ultimate you know is the ultimate golden whatever honeypot. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And when you look at the the the, the change in 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 how people uh, consume media and, and, mm -hmm. and knowledge, uh, we're living in a time from selfies, Snapchat, uh, mm -hmm. Twitter. Um, what what kind of effect does it have uh, uh, for the way that that, that, that the Wikimedia Foundation looks like? The way it's 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 uh, 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 giving content to the people uh, because now it's most time it's it's text. 
Mm -hmm. um, how, how do you look at that? Yeah, so I think there's two aspects here again, right? There's plenty of opportunities for people to um, communicate, collaborate um, on on all kinds of topics. But I think what's really important with respect to Wikipedia that those topics are really knowledge topics, right? So there's, there's a difference there. That said, I think it's really important for us to realize that knowledge comes in all kinds of shapes and forms. And, um, and we even see that going from culture to culture, or continent to continent. Um, so this is, a, this is something that we're really paying attention to and thinking about what other types of knowledge needs to make its, make its way to Wikipedia. And what would Wikipedia look like 10, 15 years from now when we have all kinds of um, other types of uh, very rich uh, multimedia type of content. I mean, we're playing, yeah, I'll give you an example, uh, you know, the world around us, you know, people are doing video, audio, ER, uh, VR, you know, um, all of this is going to become or is becoming mainstream, right? So what text was in 15, 15 years ago, it's now it's, uh, it's all other kind of, uh, kind of media. Well, are you already busy with uh, with these kind of developments uh, implementing uh, in the in the system? We are very busy with so as you, as you may, might imagine, any um, uh, product team has research uh, research and development group, uh, and we have a lot of research and development thinking going into that. Yeah. And uh, when you look at uh, the community, uh, um, because like when you're going to work more with, mm -hmm. with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with video or maybe with audio, uh, that also changed, uh, that also requires a, a, a other kind of uh, person at, uh, to produce or maybe a, maybe a, a younger kind of person. Um, and what way do you, uh, are you thinking about how you, how you also can, can, can uh, uh, let the community grow with the new types of media you're going to use? Um, well, I think it's going to engage people who are interested in contributing uh, that that kind of content, and I think it's I think you probably li are, are right. It's uh, it's likely to be different types uh, types of people that are going to engage with that, and uh, and we're looking forward to. Um, <laughs> to that crowd as well, of course, um, I think it's. Uh, I think it's uh, it's great that um, that people are experimenting uh, with a lot of new content, and at some point when it starts making its way to, into our projects, it's going to be it's going to be exciting. And the decision of the kind of media uh, or, or, uh, you're using uh, is it also uh, 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 comes it also from the crowd, or, or is something that you are thinking about in the organization? Both. Um, so uh, the way our project works is a lot of innovation comes from the community directly, and that's a that's a wonderful thing. Some really cool things came out of that, uh, but uh, there are some some work, of course, that uh, that comes from the foundation as well. And and when you look at uh, at the use of, of mobile and mm -hmm. and and, and non-mobile, uh, what is the uh the, uh, the balance uh, right now? Uh, mobile is growing and depending, it depends on the country. Um, so in the United States, we're about half and half and it's grown rapidly. Um, so mobility is definitely becoming the primary screen for people. And we'll see that people are staying uh, less longer on a page than, 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 than let's, let's say a couple of years ago? Um, it, I, I don't think I have that data to, uh, to tell you um, definitively that it's less time. Um, we do see much more interactivity on the mobility, of course, because it's, it's more just in time. I need to look it up now, that kind of thing. Yeah, and, and uh, every year there, uh, you're, you're running two donation campaigns, one or two? No, the mission, donation campaigns actually run throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, they spin up, they, they go um, more active in certain, uh, certain times of the year than others. So, for example, in North America, most people uh, do their, uh, their donations in December. Um, so, North America campaign uh, spins up in, in December and gets much more active. So, more, many, many more people see it. But the campaigns actually go throughout the year and they go into different countries at different times of the year. But once you don't, if, once you donate, it, you won't see the banner for yeah. at least twelve months. Yeah. So, so, so you can say that that we can foundation is one of the most successful crowdfunding uh, organizations in in, in, in in the world. But uh, when you look at um, um, uh, when the popularity of of of, uh, of the Wikimedia Media Foundation will be lower, uh, uh, and and the donation will uh, will increase, is there also a plan B? 
<laughs> there's, pl there's always plan B, plan C, and plan D if you're a CEO. <laughs> but um, our, our responsibility and our goal is to make sure that Wikipedia um, is, uh, and, and global and knowledge, and global knowledge project uh, like Wikipedia uh, is, uh, is always needed by the world and, uh, and that people obviously see it. Um, so where our, our, most of our effort goes into ensuring the health of the Wikipedia itself. And uh, when you look at uh, the future of, 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 the, of the Wikimedia mm -hmm. Foundation, uh, can you share some more about your charity? Um, so uh, Wikimedia Foundation itself isn't uh, Wikipedia. Let's, let's just differentiate mm -hmm. uh, those things. And we have multiple projects under, under our umbrella. Um, that uh, that we operate today. Um, I think the role of Wikimedia Foundation is evolving as well, and we're becoming as as we grow, we become more proactive in supporting our communities and ensuring that um, that we're there for our new users and watching for the common upcoming trends. So uh, some of the things that we're uh, definitely working on uh, and especially looking forward to in the future is is looking at what uh, what our project. Uh, projects are going to look like, you know, five, ten years from now, and what do we need to do for that today? And what is the world going to look like five, ten years from now? Yeah, of course. interesting. I have no idea. Let's find out. That's right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>